poisonous waste into the ground, the hydraulic pressure in time will in, in, infiltrate the aquifer and the water I'm bathing in and I'm drinking will be poisoned. Can everybody hear me okay? Yeah. So I, I, I did take a, a, a look at uh, where the waste is coming from currently, and, and it's actually kind of interesting. Uh, right now about 56% of the waste that goes into the Ostrom landfill is generated in Yuba and Sutter counties. And it's the waste that, that after uh, you know, Yuba Sutter Disposal takes it to their facility at, uh, east of Marysville, sorts it, it's what can't be recycled or reused, you know, go, goes out to the landfill. So the other um, 40 some odd percent of the waste comes from uh, mainly the surrounding jurisdictions, about 20% from Nevada County, uh, I believe it was uh, around 15% uh, uh, from the city of Oroville, uh, about 10% from uh, Calusa County. It is my understanding that only a small part of waste is being sorted and, and uh, uh, checked for, for, uh, for benign uh, for, uh, chemicals and, and uh, things, batteries and the various things which shouldn't go into the landfill. And the rest is just being dumped. I, I, uh, I don't have an answer for you there, other than the, the land, landfill, right, but the landfills are heavily regulated by the state. Uh, there, there's a regional waste management authority that, that regulates, in addition to the state integrated waste management board, you've got a, a regional waste management authority just for the Yuba Center areas. They've got what they call the uh, local enforcement agency uh, that, that does uh, all of the site inspections and testing and, uh, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a very regulated process. Who is responsible for, for for checking it and uh, and making sure that nothing is going in what what uh, is not supposed to. The Regional Waste Management Authority and the California Integrated Waste Management Board. Well, is um, I am very familiar with human nature and uh, the way we operate. We saw things the way we shouldn't, and we are very lax on when it comes to the environment. And uh, to, in my view, to create a mega dump in Yuba County is a nothing but a negative, simply because of the liabilities which are come come with it. With it, and pollution is my my major concern. The traffic, well, once you implement it, then you will all stuck with with the traffic jams and and. Uh, um, the problems coming with it. But there was one more concern I have, as in this, there, is, there, is, there are some people out there, they advocating shipping waste from, from San Francisco into the area by railroad cars, and then turn around and fill those, 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 those cart up with gravel and ship the gravel out of the county. To, to me, when you mix garbage and gravel, you're cre creating a health hazard. Unless you meticulously uh, cleanse the, 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 the railroad uh, cars to the point where not a virus or uh, anything that shouldn't be on it, in it, uh, can become in contact with gravel, because gravel then comes again in contact with humanity, right? <coughs> So what is this, this idea about shipping garbage in railroad uh, cars and then bringing, it, bringing those very same cars back with, with gravel? Well, what, which, which kind of a, uh, a crazy idea is this? How can anybody in his right mind think something like that up? I, I actually, I, I think it is just somebody's idea. There, there's no application from the county to do that, that type of process. It, and, I, and it sounds more, more kind of like a rumor. I think people have put together the fact that aggregate companies in Yuba County are interested in marking their aggregate outside of the county at, by rail. And you have, uh, Yuba, not Yuba Center Disposal, now they're called uh, Recology. Uh, Recology interested in railing garbage in. And, and I, I, it sounds like maybe people have on their own put those two together, but they're, they're two distinct items. This has been mentioned in the, in the city council meeting in front of a uh, couple hundred people. Anyway, is, um, as you want uh, here, I am totally against to magnetize that, that refuse uh, dump. 
simply because it is not in, in, in our favor as the residents of, uh, of Yuba County. And I urge all of you who, who, who have interest in, 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 in the quality of life you, you depend on to fight this tooth and nail. It's not good for us. Area. Some time ago, I heard that the Air Force was very interested in the height of the plume, if you want to call it that, at the dumps because it was in line with the, air, with the runway. What does the Air Force have to say about this proposed plan? Well, as I understand it, and I'm sure Kevin can speak to it more, but as I understand it, uh, the distance that the dump is located from where the, air, from where the runway is, uh, if you draw out a line, Apparently, it's, it becomes a problem when it's at 300 feet. That's going to be 300. Well, the complaint that I heard was, I think, a couple of years ago. So. Well, well what, as I understand, the, the permit is currently in existence because they haven't the maximum height of the dump is 300 feet. Right. And the maximum height of the dump is 265 feet. Uh, so they've withdrawn their complaint? Well, I believe that when. And can you correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe when that amendment was approved back in 2000, uh, there were comments taken or uh, the inputs from the base were asked for and, and received. Uh, and I, I'm assuming that the board considered all that when, when all that was amended, but uh, if there's more than two that, that you can add, I'd appreciate that. Yeah, I just want to make sure. It's clear, because that's why I wanted to put it on that yellow sheet that I handed out to folks, is that this, this amendment that's being requested by Ecology, formerly Yuba Center Disposal, is not to alter the height, shape, or any, any, uh, of the landfill from what's already permitted, uh, what the Board of Supervisors approved in 2000. This is just uh, whether or not that the, the, will the county allow them to bring in waste by rail cars versus solely by truck? And, and so and that, and then what, what, what will they do with their um, alternative minimum daily cover issue? Those, those, are, those are really the only two issues that, that has been brought up to us in this uh, amendment request. So back in 2000, the issue of the height was heavily debated and the Air Force was involved. And that, that that decision is passed. You know, the, the, it, it was the, the use permit was amendment was approved back in 2000. Allowed the height to go to uh, 265 feet, I believe, was the, uh, the, the, the the correct height there that Supervisor Robbie mentioned. And uh, so that that, that that ship sailed. And so I just I, I don't want to. The county does not advocate one way or the other when processing an application. We we simply take it in. We we. Um, weigh the environmental effects through the CEQA process. We present this, the information to the Planning Commission. The Planning Commission will make a decision and uh, one way or the other, approval or denial. And then parties have the right to appeal the Planning Commission's decision to the Board of Supervisors. And, then, uh, and actually, with the original use permit and with both amendments, they ultimately went to the Board of Supervisors uh, through an appeal process. Uh, and the Board of Supervisors ultimately you know, decided what to do. I guess one nice thing is the people in the Camp Far West area will have a new views to look at. Thank you. <laughs> it should be in your backyard. We can see it real close. <laughs> Benjamin Bartholomew, my question is for Mr. Raymond. Um, I actually have three questions, and I know you might not have the answers for these questions as we're just at the application process, as you, as you stated, but um, if we know the answers to the questions, that'd be great, and if not, I, I hope they'd be asked. 